What's going on guys? It's that guy with movies back here again, and I thought it'd be uh, time to do another collection. So uh, I'm going to be doing my updated uh, DVD collection. Because uh, I got a brand new shelf and everything, and uh, started to reorganize everything. So, um, or actually just reorganize everything. So without further ado, let's get started. Start with the top step first. We have the Batman motion picture anthology. That's all four original Batman movies in two disc sets. Really cool. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on these. Uh, collector's edition of The Thing. Really cool slipcover. Uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. 30th Anniversary Ultimate Edition. That has all three cuts of the movie. Plus a book and a poster. Uh, and like a really hard cardboard box. It's really nice set. Criterion of the Last Emperor. And then we have my Total Recall Mars Tin set. Then we have my 50th anniversary collection of the Ten Commandments, which has both movies on it, the um, the 1923 silent one and the 1953 um, Charlton Heston one. Then we have my Basic Instinct Special Edition with the really clear, cool packaging and the ice pick pen. Then we have the Karate Kid collection, which has all four movies. That one's just an empty case, but it's the two-disc special edition of True Romance. A nice American flight there. Uh, then we have The Adventures of Indiana Jones that uh, has all three movies on it plus a disc of bonus features. Lord of the Rings the Motion Picture Trilogy that has all three extended cuts of the three movies. Bruce Lee The Master Collection which has I think pretty much all of his movies except for Ender the Dragon and like a documentary. And uh, Die Hard The uh, Ultimate Collection which has two disc sets of uh, the three Die Hard movies that were new at that time or that just came out at that time. So uh, without further ado, let's get started with um, the stuff on the shelves. So we have this really cool Ron Burgundy bobblehead. I'll just put that up top. I have two up here too. One I just took off just so it's easier to um, do the collection, but it's at Pupil. Stephen King adaptation and uh, this one I'm getting rid of because I'm upgrading to Blu-ray which is 310 to Yuma. So without further ado, let's uh, let's get started on the collection. So first we have uh, 310 to Yuma. This is the original black and white one. Then we have Pi, the sixth day. Then we have Eight Mile, or actually uh, Pi was good. Sixth day was decent. Uh, Eight Mile is an awesome movie. If you guys have not seen it, uh, check it out. Twelve Angry Men. 12 Monkeys, uh, which is a pretty cool, like, uh, shiny cover. Um, it was an okay movie. Uh, 12 Years a Slave. I'll probably upgrade this to Blu-ray, but I'll keep it for right now. Uh, 15 Minutes, Robert De Niro, Edward Burns, uh, Infinite Film release. Then we have, I guess, a duology here of 28 Days Later and 28 Weeks Later. Then we have uh, the 36th Chamber of Shaolin, so the start of my Dragon Dynasty. Uh, then we have 48 Hours, uh, 300, the two-disc special edition, which is a really cool set. It's a really good movie, too. Um, I don't know if all the special features are on the Blu-ray or not, or the HD DVD for that matter, so I just thought I'd keep that. Uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey, and it's kind of, sort of, not really sequel, 2010 The Year We Make Contact. I think it mostly is a sequel, though. And 3,000 Miles to Graceland. Uh, a really cool, like, thick case edition of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. And we have the Abyss Special Edition, another one of these thick packagings. Uh, it's got a second disc with, like, a whole boatload of bonus features. Then we have About a Boy. Above the Law, Action Jackson, Adventures in Babysitting, really good movie, uh, Alive, Air Force One, East Ventura Pet Detective, The Adventures of Fort Fairlane, Arthur, After the Sunset, A League of Their Own, uh, the first collector's edition release of the original Alien. Uh, which has the theatrical and the director's cut. So I'll have to get uh, the ones for Aliens, Alien 3, and Alien Resurrection. But I do have just a regular special edition release of Aliens that just has the special edition on there, not the theatrical. Um, number 10 is the spine number for Alien. Number 23 is the spine number for Alien vs. Predator. 
which has a really cool slipcover, plus it has both of the theatrical cuts and the, uh, or both the theatrical cut and the unrated cut on there. Alien, uh, Aliens vs. Predator Requiem, that's the only the unrated cut. Arlington Road, Absolute Power, uh, AI, uh, Ali, I know there's a director's cut of this, so I'm probably going to have to uh, get that soon. Uh, the Andromeda Strain, An American Werewolf in London, the Collector's Edition release, great movie. And then we have its sequel, American Werewolf in Paris, Another Day in Paradise, All the President's Men, Anatomy of a Murder, Monty Python's and Now for Something Completely Different, Any Given Sunday, that's the Special Edition Director's Cut, which I'm pretty sure is the only one that was released to video, I don't think the theatrical cut is on. DVD, Apocalypto, Along Came a Spider, uh, this this next one is a documentary, but I uh, just decided to keep it on the shelf because it kind of has cool packaging, but it is An Inconvenient Truth, but um, it, like I said, it is a documentary, but it has this really cool packaging, it's just kind of like really thin cardboard, and just kind of has ways to like stop global warming in that, it's a really cool set, and uh, thing is too with this, it's like really small and skinny so I can just put it in there. And then we have Almost Famous Untitled which has both the bootleg cut and the uh, theatrical cut. So that's it for the first shelf. So now we're going to go on to uh, the second shelf here. So first one, American Ninja. American Ninja 4, The Annihilation, still need to get 2, 3 and I think there's a fifth one too. The original Amityville Horror, Amityville 3D. And the remake, Amityville Horror with Ryan Reynolds, Annie Hall, the theatrical cut of Amadeus, as you can, or as you'll probably see, I have two versions of Amadeus, this one is the director's cut, and this one is two discs as well. Uh, then we have the American President, Apollo 13, Analyze This, and its sequel, Analyze That. Uh, then we have Arachnophobia. Then we have Adaptation, which is a super bit, or uh, it advertises it as a super bit. Uh, then we have Anchorman, Airheads, uh, Airplane, Airplane 2, the sequel, uh, Army of Darkness. This is the Bruce Campbell vs. Army of Darkness edition, the or the Boomstick edition. Then we have Assassins, Armageddon. Assault on Precinct 13, The Alamo, The Assassination of Jesse James by the Coward Robert For Ford, that was filmed here in Edmonton, where I live, uh, As Good As It Gets, Awakenings, we have the Austin Powers Trilogy here, we have International Man of Mystery, The Spy Who Shagged Me, and uh, Goldmember. And then we have Avatar, I should probably upgrade this to Blu-ray. That has um, all three cuts of the movie, I think. The Aviator. So now that's it for the A's. Now we're going to get on to the B's now. So we have uh, Back to the Future. Back to the Future Part 2. And one thing to note about Back to the Future is that it has uh, new exclusive bonus features, including Back to the Future The Ride. And like I said, there's Back to the Future Part 2. And we have Back to the Future Part 3. And then we have the Complete Trilogy set, which I think has uh, special features that are not on uh, the original set of Back to the Future. So that's why I have that. The Beastmaster, Breaking Away, uh, Black Hawk Down, that has um, the movie plus two discs of bonus features, a really nice set. Boiling Point, we have uh, the Bad News Bears. And Bad News Bears Go to Japan, so you'll need to get Breaking Training and the remake. Uh, Back to School, uh, Bronco Billy, then we have Batman the Movie, Brain Scan, uh, Black Dog with Patrick Swayze, Bachelor Party, Tom Hanks, and finally we have Breakfast at Tiffany's. So now we will go down here. Uh, I'm, I guess I could probably just lean down for this one. We have uh, Beaches, A Bronx Tale, Blown Away, uh, Basic, 
the best of times uh, barbershop and its sequel barbershop 2 back in business uh, then we have baby boom be kind rewind which was an okay movie um, actually basic wasn't too bad either uh, Battle Battle of Britain. I thought it said Battle for Britain, but it's not. Born to Fight, which is another Dragon Dynasty release. Bandits. Beavis and Butthead do America. Bloodwork. Clint Eastwood. The Beach. A Beautiful Mind, which is the Two Disc Awards edition. Uh, the Born Identity, not the uh, not the movie, but the mini series or not the mini series, the TV movie. Bull Durham, Being John Malkovich, Blazing Saddles, Better Off Dead, Basketball, uh, Black Christmas, the original, A Better Tomorrow, and its sequel, A Better Tomorrow 2, Beverly Hills Cop, great movie, Beverly Hills Cop 3, Blue Streak, which was an okay movie, uh, Beyond Reanimator, Black Mask, Black Sheep, which was uh, pretty good, The Big Hit, uh, The Butcher's Wife, Big, which is the extended edition, uh, Breakdown, uh, this is still not on Blu-ray, why not, the, uh, the Blob Remake, which was good, uh, then we have Beauty and the Beast, the special edition. The Bambi Special Edition, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, and Bogus Journey. I like Excellent Adventure a lot more than Bogus Journey. I know Bogus Journey has a cult following now. The Blair Witch Project, Blade, one of my favorite movies of all time. Blade 2, Blade Trinity, or yeah, Blade Trinity, the unrated version. Uh, Broken Arrow, which was pretty good. It's getting shrouded now. Blade Runner, the director's cut, which, or the, yeah, that's the director's cut, I thought it was the final cut at first. Beyond Enemy Lines, which wasn't really that great, and we have Blood Diamond. I'm sorry, I was rushing, I was just trying to get that shelf done. So now, I can sit down and do this shelf. So, down here, probably take something out here. The last one out here, Capitalism, a love story, which was pretty good. So now, I can start doing, well, one out of focus there. I start doing this shelf now. So I have uh, Bonnie and Clyde, Bloodsport, really cheesy movie, pretty good. Jean Claude Van Damme, Canon, The Blues Brothers, uh, Blue Thunder, Don't Laugh, The Bridges of Madison County. I just got it because it's Clint Eastwood. Blue Crush. The Breakfast Club, um, one of my favorite movies of all time. You gotta love The Breakfast Club, man. There we go. Hope that's a little bit better. Borat. The Bodyguard. The Bonfire of the Vanities. The Butler. I'll probably get that on Blu-ray, maybe. Blue Hawaii. Elvis. Gotta love it. Then we have Big Fish. It has um, the movie itself and then it has like a book, too. Uh, really cool. Got that at the reuse, surprisingly enough. Born on the 4th of July. Brewster's Millions. The Black Hole. Black Rain. Bowling for Columbine, which is uh, a really good documentary. Breakfast of Champions. Bananas. Woody Allen. Biodome. Blue Steel. Boys in the Hood. It's like a really cool, like, shiny uh, set there. Then we have Braveheart, the Special Collector's Edition. Broke Down Palace. Uh, some kind of, like, tongue-in-cheek horror movies here. We have Bubba Hotep with Bruce Camel, uh, which was directed by Don Coscarelli. We have another one here, Beyond the uh, Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon. Uh, which actually has Robert England in it, and it is a Anchor Bay release too. Then we have uh, Bride of Reanimator, A Bridge Too Far, Beach Red, Bruce Almighty, Bullet, 
And uh, we're nearing the end of the bees here. We have uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the movie, which was uh, pretty corny. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. That's it for the bees. So now on to the C's now. So we have Colors, Can't Buy Me Love, City Slickers, uh, The Cure, uh, which is like a studio selections release. Kind of like an odd movie. Uh, another studio selections release here of uh, Cloak and Dagger. Cyborg, another kind of cheesy canon uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme movie. Casualties of War. Chicago. Uh, cool Hand Luke. Cobb. Carrie. This is like a really cool uh, 70s edition, I guess, that has... Uh, that and then it has some, uh, I guess, like a CD of uh, 70 songs on it. We have Consenting Adults, Cheech and Chong's The Corsican Brothers, and finally on the shelf we have like some really, I don't know, cheesy, corny, like Grindhouse movie, A Cadaver Christmas. So we'll just put that up top there. So now we can go on to the bottom shelf of the first uh, shelf. We have Cops and Robertsons, Caddyshack, and we have Canadian Bacon, Casino Royale, the really cool three disc uh, collector's edition set, really nice. Uh, Candyman, uh, one of my favorite horror movies. Clean and Sober, Changing Lanes, Cabin Boy, uh, Cars. Chain Reaction, A Cry in the Dark, uh, Car Wash, Catch Me If You Can, one of my favorite movies of all time. I love this movie, man. Uh, then we have Closer, uh, Chariots of Fire, Cutaway, really corny Tom Berenger, Stephen Baldwin, Dennis Rodman movie. Then we have The Curse of the Jade Scorpion, another Woody Allen movie. Coach Carter, if you've not seen this one, watch it. It's an awesome movie. Pretty inspirational, too. We have uh, Castaway, the original Children of the Corn. This is the 20th anniversary uh, Divi Max special edition with the shiny cover and everything. Then we have Children of the Corn Revelation. We have another Stephen King one here, Cat's Eye. Then we have Christine. Clash of the Titans, The City of Violence, which is another Dragon Dynasty release. Then we have the Critters Collection, which has uh, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Those are all of them on, uh, unfortunately, uh, two disc, uh, two flipper discs, but, you know, what are you going to do? Child's Play, Child's Play 3. Still have, uh, I still need to get Child's Play 2, and then Bride, Seed, and then all the other ones. City Hall. Uh, A Christmas Story, which is awesome, obviously. The Cutting Edge. Uh, A Chorus Line. I forgot to mention about Child's Play 2. Uh, it's an awesome movie. Uh, Crimson Tide. The, uh, the Conan double feature, which has the Barbarian and the Destroyer. Then we have Collateral Damage. Then we have Crocodile Dundee. Crocodile Dundee in Los Angeles. Still need to get Crocodile Dundee 2. Captain Ron. Cujo, another Stephen King. The remake of Cape Fear. Then we have The Clearing, uh, The Color of Money, I'll be getting to um, The Hustler soon, The Crush, Commando, just really corny action, uh, Curse of the Pink Panther, we have Coming to America, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and one last one here, 
the super bit of Cartoon Tiger Hidden Dragon, which excises all the bonus features in favor of the better image quality and everything. So, uh, yeah, that's it for the first shelf. So now on to the second shelf. All right, guys, now on to the next shelf here. We have uh, Con Air, uh, which is a great little uh, action movie right there. Contact, Courage Under Fire, uh, the really cool glow-in-the-dark slipcover for a creature from the Black Lagoon. The Crow City of Angels, um, the collector, like the collector's edition of the first Crow is like impossible to find, so I found the, uh, the City of, uh, Crow City of Angels. Then we have Clear and Present Danger, Creep Show, Creep Show Two, which is the Divi Max edition. Um, still need to get Creep Show Three, Cool Runnings. Cobra, uh, Clerks X, which is the 10th anniversary edition that has the theatrical, the director's cut, and a uh, disc of bonus features. I still need to find Clerks 2. Collateral, Click, which was pretty good. Cocoon, again, pretty good. Cocoon the Return, uh, Death to Smoochie, uh, Dog Day Afternoon, Deja Vu, which has a really cool slipcover. Dr. No, Deep Cover, Drumline, The Defender, Double Team, another Dennis Rodman movie, uh, Dominion, prequel to The Exorcist, the original Day the Earth Stood Still, the uh, Studio Classics line, uh, 1951. And we have uh, Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. Donnie Darko, Double Jeopardy, Die Another Day, which is not really that great, Dances with Wolves, the Collector's Edition, which is the 4-hour cut, uh, Dogma Special Edition, 2 discs, uh, Days and Confused, one of my favorite movies of all time, Disturbia, The Deep, Diner, the double feature of District 13 and District 13 Ultimatum, the Dirty Dozen, uh, Dust Boat, the Director's Cut, uh, The Da Vinci Code, which is a great movie. Uh, I know, I know, like a lot of people don't like it, but I liked it. Deliverance, uh, Demolition Man, Doctor Zhivago, Daylight, which is a great movie. Uh, Dolores Claiborne, Downfall, foreign movie. And uh, the two pack of Dawn of the Dead and Land of the Dead. So now on to the next shelf here. We have The Devil's Own, uh, a collect another collector's edition, number seven of Die Hard. Then we have Dick Tracy, uh, Death Before Dishonor, another I guess cheesy action movie. The Day After, uh, Dirty Dancing Ultimate Edition, The Distinguished Gentleman. Disturbing Behavior, The Day After Tomorrow, All Access Collector's Edition, number 19, uh, Dark Man, which was a great movie, a very underrated, uh, Dark City, uh, Dracula 2000, uh, Dreamcatcher, which is a Stephen King movie, uh, Down With Love, Desperately Seeking Susan, uh, Detroit Rock City, Drunken Master, Don't Say a Word, Duel, which was okay, uh, Dragon Slayer, Dave, Dr. Doolittle, which is the remake, Dumb and Dumber, the uh, unrated one, uh, and then we have the Glow in the Dark Collectors, or not Glow in the Dark, uh, Glow in the Dark Slipcover for Dracula, then we have the Edge. Uh, An Empress and the Warriors, another Dragon Dynasty. Uh, Eddie and the Cruisers. Enemy of the State Special Edition, which I think is a like, a, like a, another cut of the movie or something like that. Extreme Measures. The Exorcist, the version you've never seen. Exorcist 2, the Heretic, and Exorcist 3. Empire Records, the Special Fan Edition. We're going to get started into the Ernest movies now. So we have Ghost to Camp, which is pretty good. 
That's the only one I've seen out of all these. Uh, then we have Saves Christmas, Goes to Jail, and Scared Stupid. Uh, Encino Man, Exit Wounds, Demon Skull's probably last good movie. Uh, Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close. Empire of the Sun, which is uh, Christian Bale's film debut. Eraser. Edward Scissorhands, which is a great movie. Uh, the 20, 25th, or 20th anniversary edition of A Men Out. Uh, El Mariachi. I was talking about this earlier. Enter the Dragon. Uh, Escape from New York. Evolution, which is pretty good. And Eagle Eye. So now if we go down here, a little bit darker, we have Eye of the Needle. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to pull all these out. Enemy at the Gates. Excalibur. Uh, Executive Decision, which was pretty good. Uh, the Fan. Fanboys, which was a very funny movie. I really like that one. If you guys haven't seen Fanboys, I highly recommend you check it out. Uh, Fierce Creatures. Uh, Fame with a really cool uh, red snap case. Fahrenheit 9-11. The Far Country. Face Off, a fantastically cheesy movie. Uh, John Woo. Uh, it's, it's really silly, obviously, because it's got uh, the Kings of Cheese, uh, John Travolta and Nicolas Cage. Uh, then we have Forever Young. Falling Down, this is a fantastic movie. Uh, Fandango. <clears throat> Falling in Love, Foxy Brown, part of the Soul Cinema line, Firefox, uh, Full Metal Jacket, uh, Frequency, another duology of films here, we have Father of the Bride and Father of the Bride Part 2. We have another series of movies here, we have uh, The Fast and the Furious, Too Fast, Too Furious, Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. Fast and Furious and Fast Five. I'll probably Fast and Furious and this one I'll probably get on Blu-ray. The Flamingo Kid, uh, Funny Face, Fearless, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, a uh, great movie. A Few Good Men, uh, Fargo, Fight Club, the two disc uh, special edition, I guess. Uh, Fire Down Below, another kind of cheesy Steven Seagal one. Then we have the the, uh, the Final Destination Collection, which has the first four movies. I have the fifth one on Blu-ray. Firewall. Uh, Free Jack. The Glow in the Dark slip, uh, slip cover for Frankenstein. The Firm. The First Deadly Sin. First Night. Finding Nemo. <clears throat> the French Connection, which is spine number 24. Uh, a Fish Called Wanda. A Fistful of Dollars. For a few dollars more. Finally on this shelf, For Your Eyes Only. So now we're going to go down here. Uh, we have The Fortune Cookie, which is a Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau film. Uh, then we have the Fantasia and Fantasia 2000 uh, double feature. Then we have Following, which is Christopher Nolan's first film. Freedom Lion. Uh, the Falcon, the Falcon and the Snowman. Uh, Fallen. You guys can't really see it, but yeah, there you go. Um, Freddy vs. Jason. The Fly, The Fly 2, uh, we have like the original version of Friday the 13th, and then we have uh, the 4 film collection which has the first 4, double feature of parts 5 and 6, and double feature of parts 7 and 8. Then we have uh, the remake, The Killer Cut, probably upgrade that to Blu-ray. Uh, then we have the original Flatliners, Footloose which is... It's Footloose. It's a fantastic movie. Uh, Friday, which was really good. And uh, it's third movie, Friday After Next. Four Christmases, which was decent. Uh, Friday Night Lights. 
Flash Dance. That should actually go by Footloose. The Fugitive. Fist. The Frighteners. Just kind of scooting back a little bit. Uh, Fright Night. And we're going to get into the G's now. We have the Great White Hype. The Great Outdoors. Uh, the Chaplin Collection of the Gold Rush. That's the only Charlie Chaplin movie that I have in my collection. I should look for, um, I think The Kid was released on there. I think uh, Modern Times, I think, was. And um, lots of others. I think Great Dictator was on there, too. Uh, Get Shorty, the Collector's Edition. The Gauntlet. Gangs of New York. Uh, Gladiator. Green Dragon. G.I. Jane. Uh, Glen Gary Glenn Ross. Good Burger, Ghost, which is a fantastic movie. I, I, I'm a guy, and I love Ghost. I'm not afraid to admit that. Uh, Guilty by Suspicion, The Great Escape, uh, Gettysburg, and then Gods and Generals. Then we have Goodfellas, Gunfight at the OK Corral, uh, Grand Canyon. Great Balls of Fire, Good Morning Vietnam, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, and finally on the shelf we have Gossip. So if we move down here, we've got uh, Glory, then we have uh, The Godfather 3 Movie Collection, Double Feature of The Gods Must Be Crazy 1 and 2, The Greatest Story Ever Told, which is in another one of these really like thick cases. The Godson, which is a, kind of a cheesy Ronnie Dangerfield one. Uh, Gone Fishing. Goldeneye. Uh, Goldfinger. The Ghost in the Darkness. Uh, Michael Douglas and Val Kilmer. The Game. I should really upgrade this old DVD. Uh, Gung Ho. Groundhog Day. Uh, Grumpy Old Men. And its sequel, Grumpier Old Men. The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. The Goonies. Uh, Gold, the Dream Begins. Gone in 60 Seconds. Uh, Grease, the Rock and Rydell Edition. The Green Mile. Good Will Hunting. A fantastic movie. Uh, Gosford Park. There you go, there's The Hustler. This is uh, spine number 30. Uh, How to Marry a Millionaire. Home Alone, Home Alone 2, or Lost in New York, uh, High Plains Drifter, House of Flying Daggers, The Hills of Eyes, the, uh, the new one, unrated, and then we have The Hills of Eyes 2, unrated, uh, Halloween H2O, 20 years later, then we have uh, the unrated director's cut of the Rob Zombie Halloween, and then we have Hackers, a uh, really cheesy 90s movie. Uh, Hellboy, that's the theatrical one. And we have the director's cut of Hellboy, which has uh, three discs plus a little book, which it's a really nice set. Uh, then we have Hearts War. Uh, another cheesy grindhouse one here, Hobo with a Shotgun. Uh, Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Man. Uh, Homegrown. Hero. Uh, Hand That Rocks the Cradle, Hunt for Red October, Hellraiser, and we have Hellraiser Bloodline. So that's it for this shelf, now on to uh, the next shelf. Alright guys, now on to the next shelf, I think I'm just going to go up to uh, end on this one, so let's get started. We have uh, Hellraiser Hellseeker, Hannibal, uh, Hard to Kill, Heat. Hot Fuzz, the three disc collector's edition. Really nice set. Uh, the Haunting. Happy Gilmore. Uh, Hollywood Ending, another Woody Allen one. How I Got Into College. Hoosiers. Double feature of Hot Shots and Hot Shots Part 2. Uh, House Arrest. Heartbreak Ridge. The Hurricane. 
uh, House on Haunted Hill, the remake. Uh, then we have The Hard Way. We have all of the Harry Potter movies. Philosopher's Stone or Sorcerer's Stone. Uh, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, Deathly Hallows Part 1, and Deathly Hallows Part 2. How the West Was Won. Uh, the Hurt Locker, I should probably upgrade that one to Blu-ray. Honeymoon in Vegas, which was an okay movie. Uh, Hulk. In the Army Now. In Dreams. Insomnia. iRobot. Five Star Collection of Independence Day. It Happened One Night. The Insider. In the Heat of the Night. Idle Hands. The, uh... Glow in the Dark Slipcover for The Invisible Man, Infernal Affairs 2, Infernal Affairs 3, The Iron Fisted Monk, Interview with the Vampire, The Italian Job, uh, Iron Eagle, and we have In and Out. Now on to the next shelf here. We have uh, In the Line of Fire. We have the mini or the the TV movie of It. It Could Happen to You, The Incredibles, uh, The Island, uh, I'm Gonna Geet You Sucka, uh, Jumpin' Jack Flash, Jawbreaker, uh, Jeepers Creepers, and Jeepers Creepers 2. We have all three of the Jurassic Park movies, Lost World, and Three, Joyride, uh, Joyride, um, two completely uh, unrelated movies, The Jerk, the uh, the twenty sixth anniversary edition, Jailhouse Rock, another Elvis movie there, Joe's Apartment, The Jewel of the Nile, um, the. Th 30th anniversary edition of Jaws. I should really get that on Blu-ray. Uh, Jason Goes to Hell and Jason X. John Q. Junior. Johnny Dangerously. Uh, JFK. Jerry Maguire. Special edition release. The Jackal. Joe Kidd. Uh, Kelly's Heroes. Koyanis Kotsi, uh, King Ralph, uh, Kung Pao Enter the Fist, Kindergarten Cop, Kingpin, uh, Kiss the Girls, Killzone, another Dragon Dynasty, uh, K19 The Widowmaker, uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, my CDs are kind of blocking the way, but that's a collection for another time, uh, Keeping the Faith. Uh, the extended unrated version of King Arthur. The deluxe extended edition of King Kong, the 2005 version. I still need to get the original one. Leon the Professional, which is a great movie, or just The, the Professional. Letters from Iwo Jima. Finally on this shelf we have La Bamba, which is one of my favorites of all time. you got to love that movie. Now down here, kind of dark, but uh, Love Story. Then we have the my only Ultimate Edition in my collection, which is for Legend. Then we have Lean On Me. Legend of the Black Scorpion, another Dragon Dynasty. Uh, the Last Samurai. The Lost World, which has both the 1960 and the 1925 silent version. Life, uh, Monty Python's Life of Brian. The Langoliers, another Stephen King one. Uh, we have my just my regular copy of Lawrence of Arabia, and my super bit copy of Lawrence of Arabia. The Last Castle, L.A. Confidential, The Long Kiss Goodnight, Labyrinth, Leap of Faith, which was uh, pretty decent. The Last of the Mohicans, Life Stinks, uh, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. We have all of the Lethal Weapon movies. Uh, the first three are their director's cuts. And we just have the regular version of the fourth one. I don't think there even is a 
director's cut of that one. Uh, the original Longest Yard. Liar Liar. Uh, Little Miss Marker, Walter Matthau. Uh, Little Giants. License to Kill, which was pretty good. Uh, the Lion King. The Last Waltz. Uh, Little Monsters. Uh, Lost in America. This is a great movie if you haven't seen it. <clears throat> a Little Shop of Horrors. Uh, the Lady Killers. This is probably impossible to get to. Uh, the Last Boy Scout, which is really good. Uh, Live and Let Die. And The Living Daylights. Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. The Locked and Loaded Director's Cut. Look Who's Talking. Uh, Lucas, this is a great movie. <clears throat> Lord of the Flies. Uh, Magnum Force. Major League. Uh, the Manchurian Candidate, the original one. Man on Fire. Oops. Um, Man with the Golden Gun. Then we have Mr. and Mrs. Smith Unrated. Spine number 27. And then we have Marked for Death. And uh, Man on Fire is spine number 18 as well. <clears throat> so we'll... Uh, We'll go up to, I guess, N, and then we'll stop. So we have uh, The Mask of Zorro. Then we have uh, Mall Rats, the 10th Anniversary Extended Edition, which includes both a theatrical and an extended version. Maverick. Mars Attacks. My Boyfriend's Back. Uh, Mannequin, this is a great movie. This should be up here, I, or that should be up on the third shelf, I know, but this is the Manchurian Candidate remake. <clears throat> Metro. The man, with the, the man in the Iron Mask. That was not even, like, positioned properly at all. Uh, the Mask. That's a great movie. Master and Commander, The Far Side. Ooh, it's out of focus. Master and Commander, The Far Side of the World, Collector's Edition. Uh, mean Machine, which is kind of like a soccer, like British remake of The Longest Yard. We have the Mission Impossible movies here. Mission Impossible 2, 3, and Ghost Protocol. I should really get that one on Blu-ray. Uh, Message in a Bottle. Meet the Parents. Meet the Fockers. Memento. Uh, Memphis Bell. The Mummy, The Mummy Returns, Memoirs of a Geisha, uh, Matchstick Men, Minority Report, Mr. Destiny, Money for Nothing, Miracle on 34th Street, the original one, Monty Python and the Holy Grail, hilarious movie, uh, Misery, great movie, uh, Miracle, It'll be increasingly difficult to get back there. Uh, Mortal Kombat, which was pretty good as far as video game movies go. Uh, Men in Black 2. Maximum Overdrive, really cheesy but really fun. Uh, Mary Poppins, 40th Anniversary Edition. Uh, My Stepmother is an Alien. Moonstruck. Uh, the Man Without a Face. Mean Girls. Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, uh, Mickey Blue Eyes, and we have Murder at 1600, uh, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, Million Dollar, whoa, Million Dollar Baby, and finally on the shelf, The Meaning of Life, Monty Python's Meaning of Life. So we'll go down here, we're almost done for part one of this video. We have Mobsters. Uh, the Man with Two Brains, uh, Meatballs, Mercury Rising, <clears throat> we have uh, Men of Honor, Me, Myself, and Irene, uh, Mr. Saturday Night, Men with Brooms, Murder in the First, uh, My Soul to Take, 
the Matrix, the Matrix Reloaded, and the Matrix Revolutions, uh, My Fellow Americans, Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, uh, The Mist, two disc collector's edition, Money Train, Mrs. Doubtfire, My Bloody Valentine, My Cousin Vinny, Mystery Alaska, Mystic River, and finally for this video, The Mosquito Coast. So there you go guys, that is part one of my entire DVD collection. So uh, thanks for watching, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Uh, turn in subscribe links will be in the description down below if you want to follow me on there. Thanks again for watching, we will see you all next time.